Yeah. Yeah. We're padding, right? So you don't want to get a four update. What's going on guys? We're here at SHOT Show 2023 with QSP and David. We're going to check out some of their new 2023 releases. Yep, well, so getting into the uh, kitchen knife realm. Uh, so if you guys are not looking for a kitchen knife, you're going to have the standard and as well as the, the magic versions. Uh, so you're going to start to see this on our websites and at dealers as well. Uh, but if you're looking for something to cut in the kitchen as well as in your pocket, we're going to kind of expand to that market as well. So are these your first kitchen knives? Uh, yeah, this is going to be the kitchen knife for the brand. Uh, so we're going into that market. Sweet. Yeah, and then so uh, this kind of a rehash. Uh, so the Raven's been around for a little bit, but it didn't have this material. It was more of a G10 handle. So this my Carter is going to be a nice addition. Uh, and it's going to be more cookery style uh, as far as the blade shape. So some people will shy away from it, but it does really well for cutting through material as far as capturing that material uh, for the knife. So it's also, I mean, price point wise, you can bring me about $51 uh, for that knife in D2. So it's a really good setup for it. Uh, we're going into the slip joint market as well. So this is available now. So while you're watching this video, uh, you can go out and buy this from retailers uh, for the Hedgehog. Uh, so it is slip joint. So that's where you're going to have that walk and talk that people like. Uh, it's going to be a different blade shape than what you're going to have in a standard traditional knife. A uh, modern material still has basically that back spacer or back spring that's going to be flat in the open, mid, and closed position, which everybody's looking for. And the pull weights on it is about two to three pounds. Uh, so if you have some of the other modern knives, some of them are like really low, where it's like super simple to open it up. Coming from a uh, basically a modern flipper knife and everything, that might feel okay. But if you're going to be using a knife, you want it a little bit more. Uh, bison wise, uh, this is going to be uh, the V2. The first version was a little bit shorter, so it's probably up to about this bolt right there uh, for that. Uh, so it did get a little bit longer. So we got some feedback that it was a little bit too small. Uh, so that's where we were able to get that done. So there, I have a large size hand, so that's how it fits in my hand uh, for it. Comes with the sheath uh, where it has a good positive lockup. And also it's going to have the tech lock style, so you can move that around, get to however you want to set it up. And even price point on this guy, I mean, you're looking at 79 and 80 bucks for it, uh, for that design. So it's actually a really good uh, setup and really looks good as well. Going into the kind of front flipper side, so that's kind of that's something for anybody that's in the hobby. You get kind of tired of flippers and thumb studs and everything else, so you want to challenge yourself. <laughs> so you have a front flipper. Uh, so there's going to be uh, a lot of these have no names too. So if you guys put in the comments as far as well that blue knife, I think it should be this name. This knife, I think it should be this name. You might get it now. So understand that we kind of stay to animals and birds. Uh, so that's going to be kind of the theme behind it. And also look at our catalog. So if you say that you want it to be a penguin, <laughs> it's already done. Uh, so it's not going to be a penguin. Uh, so that's going to be the regular flipper as well as you can have a front flip. I like having both forward. options on. There. Yeah. So. So you're gonna have the options there to get that open. Can I try that one? Let's see first. if I can do the normal flipper first. Get a little used to it. There we go. Really cool. Nice deep carry pocket clip. Some internal milling in there. Cool. That was right there, right? Yep, so first one with no name. This one also does not have a name. So it's gonna be heavily milled on the handles. Now this is a kind of a golden carbon fiber uh, for it. And then you're going to notice that as far as our pivots, there's going to be kind of the budget side pivot and they're going to be the more premium. So our premium side is going to have kind of that triangle shape. Uh, the budget side will probably just have our logo on it and without the triangle. So that's kind of a good way to determine as far as that premium lineup. Uh, so this is going to be uh, that blade shape. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit different as far as styling, very stylistic knife. And then it's going to have a different pocket clip. So that's a, our newest design for the titanium pocket clip for it. That's going to be what that looks like. That's interesting having the thumb studs and the thumb hole like that. Yeah. Can you can you flick it with the hole too? Yeah. Nice. That's pretty cool. And then that one too. Yeah, so that's going to be more premium size. So probably about S35. Looking at about $160 when you pick it up at the retail. What about toucan. Is that yeah, toucan? Is that a uh, I don't think we have a toucan. A toucan? Yeah. So so that might be it. Yeah. So yeah. yeah so you may have already named the knife. So but <laughs> leave it in the comments. And there might be some other ones out there. Uh, so no name, no name, also no name. So we're gonna get in, into a few of these other ones. But uh, button locks are all the rage. Uh, we, these are our first button locks for the QSP lineup. Uh, so we're gonna have two different ones, very similar for the handle shapes. Uh, it's gonna be a different blade shape though. Uh, so you're gonna have the regular uh, cut point style. Then you're gonna have a tanto. Oh, sweet. 
So two different styles for that, um, also different materials. So Refair Noble was something we used before on the Mamba uh, years ago, probably 2017 time frame. But this is a little bit more matted, you know, so it's not a, a really high polish uh, for the Refair Noble handle. But that is going to be a button lock for these guys. I see that one there. Really cool. Oh, you got flipper, thumb studs, and the button, huh? Oh, come on. I can't get it. I'll have to do the flipper. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so there's still prototypes now, so they may change a little bit in its iteration as it goes to production. So we're going to look at uh, probably April for the other ones, and we're probably looking at about May for the button locks. So you can kind of uh, bug your dealers already if you want to, say, I want to get this when it comes out. That's pretty exciting though, man, getting some button locks. Yeah. And then upscale, I mean, the Rhino is also available, so if you want to pick up a Rhino, you can. Uh, this is the highest end of it. It's going to be about $430. So uh, initially, on QSP, when you go, well, QSP, it should be $30. We have a full range of you know, knives from, you see that $34 range, now up to $430. So this is going to have mocha type, yeah, so it's going to be on the backspacer. And so nice. you can see a lot of playing on light and also we have the pocket clip uh, with that you know, ball on it. And so this, that actual milling also goes into Jeez, the, that is like the intense there. milling, holy cow. Yeah, so this one also is going to be titanium hardware. So a lot of the other ones, even though they have titanium handles, they don't have titanium hardware. Yeah. Uh, so that's where also this has a compound grind. And this one's out already? This one is out already for the Rhino. So you have the Rhino. So there's going to be two different models. So one with a compound grind, uh, which is going to be the over $400 one. And there's going to be the under uh, $400 one. So this is going to be about basically 360. So you can kind of see the difference between that blade shape. So you're going to have the compound and you're going to have the full flat. So this is a full flat under now 400 and there's going to be the compound which is over 400. Nice. That is sexy man. I love the milling that goes kind of matches on the yeah. the jimping onto the onto Let's the back spacer. Really kind of that That's insane man. All right. I might have to pick one of these up man. That's cool. Sweet. Yeah, and then a uh, similar thing uh, for that milling. So for a neck knife, you're gonna have that same type of milling on it. Uh, you're gonna have the sheath for it, as far as what you're gonna use. So still good in the lineup for it. So a little bit different, not your little corn purse that you had when you were a little kid or something. <laughs> so a little bit different stylization on it uh, for that. And actually, uh, just one item that didn't make it to the show uh, that you might be surprised to see, uh, European market, if anybody's in Europe, uh, you might like this. That's gonna be the Penguin Slip Joint. So the green knife back there is gonna be the Penguin Slip Joint. Uh, so that'll be coming out, will be the under three inches, or just at three inches, so it should be legal uh, more worldwide as far as how that goes. And if anybody's handled the Hedgehog, uh, that's gonna be very similar to how that's gonna feel. So it's gonna have a good positive walk and talk. It's gonna have the same type of fit and finish uh, that you're gonna see on that slip joint as well. Awesome. Well, thanks, David. You're the man. Yeah, no I appreciate you. <laughs> thanks. Right.